Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM with Ms. Crosman. Today we are going to be making marble mazes and to do this you will need a Lego base plate, a marble, and some Legos to build with. The first thing I'm going to do when I build a maze is I'm going to create a wall around the edges of my base plate so that the marble can't get out. But I'm going to leave two openings, one for the marble to enter and another for the marble to exit. And you will need to use a marble as you're building to figure out how wide that path needs to be. So let me go ahead and build that part. All right, now I have my outer border made and I've left a spot and I've left a spot for the marble to go in and a spot for the marble to exit that is wide enough for it to exit. Now I have to start making obstacles. To make a fun marble maze, you wanna have three different elements. The first one is you wanna have a lot of pathways with some dead ends. The second is you wanna have some obstacles to go through. And the third is you really wanna have just one solution so that people have to explore a little bit in order to figure out what that one solution is. So I'm going to get back to work building mine now, and I'll come back and show you how I did that. One of the reasons I said you want to make sure that your pathways are wide enough for your marble is that I can't give you a standard measurement because I have marbles in my classroom that are very different sizes. If you notice that this clear one is a lot smaller than the white one next to it, and it all just depends upon where you buy your marbles. I tend to buy the smaller ones if I can because they work better for a lot of our projects. Like this one, we can add a lot more pathways if we use a smaller marble. But I built mine today so that I could use either marble. So after several minutes of building, this is what I've come up with for my marble maze. Now I wanted to show you the solution to my maze. My maze, you're going to start with your marble down at this end. And the obvious path when I tip this and send it down is actually going to be a trap. So I'm going to come back out and try and take this other path, which is a little trickier to get into. I like to make things a little bit tricky. Okay. Now this next element I really like, students came up with this idea, and it is kind of what we call a covered bridge with a trap inside. So there's a correct solution underneath here, and there's a trap inside. And I wanna show you, to do this section, you have to build your marble maze two Legos tall. And if you come through here, this section is gonna be a trap. I might even move this to make it just a little easier to get trapped in here. And then this one is the correct solution. So I'm gonna put this lid on it, put the top of the covered bridge back on. And if I didn't know what I was doing, I might go through here and get caught in the trap on the end. And then I got to backtrack and try and come out, but not come out the way that I went in. So it makes it a little trickier for people to do. So now I'm going to roll through here and through here. And I've got another dead end there and a tricky spot to try and get through. Go around the zombie and I'm out and that is my solution. So you always wanna make sure with this that you do have a working solution before you call it done. Have fun with this one. It's a favorite assignment of my students. I hope you enjoy it too.